this is the reason why uh, we don't want to rely just on symptoms. Um, over the last uh, decade or so, we've uh, come to understand that Crohn's disease is a progressive disease. For those of you who've ever had narrowings in your bowel or fistulas, those uh, that we once thought that those types of diseases were their own separate entity. But our current understanding is that those more complicated, com those more complicated, what we call phenotypes or disease cases really arise because of uncontrolled and repeated inflammation. So as you have these bouts of, of disease flares, every time you have one of those flares, it puts you at risk for damaging the intestine or developing complications. And as that happens and you develop complications, it's usually the complications that lead to surgery. So the whole goal is to really to control inflammation. And that's not only in Crohn's disease, but also in ulcerative colitis, where inflammation and ulcerative colitis that's repeated can lead to changes in what people call the leaky gut. It can change the way your colon or your large intestine works. And even if you heal the intestine, it doesn't work properly in the end. So it's all about recognizing and treating inflammation in a timely fashion and to the best, uh, 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 the best possible way.